And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. It's a fine line from working down in the zone on two and two and bouncing one in there that basically stands no chance at getting swung at. Right there, he basically spiked that one right into the dirt, and now he has to find the zone on a 3-2 pitch. Throw by Lowry, and there's the first out. Now batting, third baseman. Stepping into the box, Joe Torre. He went down on strikes last time up. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. And a fastball just a bit high. Bases are empty, one man out. That command may be starting to drift a bit. It's 2 0 now. One high pop up. Thomas waits on it. Two gone. Designated hitter number 99. Coming to the plate now, Aaron Judge. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. First pitch on its way. High fastball is in there. Bases are empty here with two men out. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. But it bends just foul into the second deck. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Reggie racing back. And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. So the Yanks go 1-2-3. They're still doubled up. It's 6-3. Dylan Vitenses has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Dylan Vitenses. Ready for another chance. Joe Morgan he could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Now here it comes. Up and away to start the inning. It's 1-0. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D. World, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. And they won't get him to chase the curveball in the dirt that time, and it's 2 0 now. Down low, and the plot thickens here 3 0. I'm pretty surprised by the location on those last three pitches. The book on him is that he hits the way pitch pretty well, and he just saw three in a row out there. So does he go back out there again. No Matt I expect him to mix it up. Most catchers won't call for the same location over and over and over. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. After it is Ellsbury. But he won't get to it and this should put a man in scoring position to start the inning. And he will get there as the A's have themselves a leadoff double. Now that is. That was not a good pitch, but he handled it nicely, guys. Yeah, and the pitcher's got to wonder what he has to do to get it past this guy. That pitch was off the plate, but he shows great reach, gets good extension, and drives it for a two-bagger. Into the box now, Johnny Damon. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. A 
1 0 pitch. Just a bit high that time as he misses for a ball. Clearly staying away from him in this at bat with that runner in scoring position tells me they're trying to force him to reach for something and maybe roll over on it. Morgan stands at second with no outs. Three and oh now. Those were two great executed pitches right there away from this batter. He can hurt you in a heartbeat. I don't think anything's going to leak out over the heart of the plate. Popped him up. Bird has room in foul territory. One down. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up of the zone. They took him up the ladder and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop out. Well executed pitch there. In now, Frank Thomas. As he'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner. It's 0 and 1. He's working on a 1 for 3 thus far. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. A wave and a miss. A tick behind a good fastball. That straight smoke at 99, guys. It's almost unfair. Nothing in two count and the pitch on the ground to the right side and that's through into right field for a base hit and the runner from second will stay put at third so they're runners at the corners now with one away. Well you know what good hitters are good hitters for a reason D row to be able to hang in there on an 0 2 pitch and still be able to get a base hit. This guy's about as good as it gets. Yeah I'm blown away by this guy Dan. You wouldn't know if you showed up. You wouldn't know if it's 2 0 3 1 0 2 counts do not matter. This guy trusts in his craft. Two home runs already to his name in this one and we'll see if he could possibly strike again. All two now. Great chance right here as a hitter to be aggressive. You can pretty much count on a pitcher. He's trying to get back in the strike zone. And with two guys on base right here, it's time to grip it and rip it. Runners are at the corners with one man out. Aye. Knuckle curve and a beauty two and one now. The 2 1 pitch. Fouled off. Sanchez might try to make a play on it, and that's going to land foul. Back to back breaking balls. He just missed that one right there, fouling it away. Do not expect a third. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. I don't think he can afford another base runner here, so whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. Skied into very shallow right. Winfield has a play. Two down. And he'll think better of trying to score as he holds it third with two away now. Now batting Mike Piazza and their runners at the corners now. Here's the first pitch to him. Fastball down near the shoe tops. 